meat eaters of Reddit. Would you be able to slaughter the animals you eat yourself? If not, why? I'm a farm kid and a hunter so I grew up slaughtering the animals I eat myself so the answer is yes. It's not without moral consideration and I do believe that meat industry as it exists is pretty awful to animals. But from where I stand raising animals for food is part of life and not inherently difficult. Yes, I live in a small rural town in Mexico, and I was taught to slaughter farm animals since I was 10. We use everything in the animal, the meat, the organs, the blood, the bones and the skin. We don't let anything go to waste, it's our way of respecting the death of the animal. Honestly, number. I'm also not opposed to vegetarianism. I could see myself milking a cow, owning chickens for eggs, etc. But if you put a chicken or cow in front of me I'd be more apartment to treat it like a pet than to kill it for meat. Guess that makes me a hypocrite. Number. That falls far from any skill set I have. It would be pointless and cruel to make me kill the animal as I'm sure it would lead to extra suffering for the animal and way too much effort from me. I think a lot about this. And, to be really honest, yes, I used to watch a lot of cow, pigs, chicken, etc. slaughtering videos and, even thought is heavy and sad. I think it's healthy to understand where these things come from. Also, I watch a lot of safari footage and, compared to how we kill animals, I know it depends, blah blah, nature is a bitch. I wasn't raised in a farm or anything but I really think about this and often conclude that we just feel like we aren't a part of nature but we just can't separate ourselves from it. I'd love to discuss this more and my thoughts are more complex but time is small to write them down. LOL There is an excellent anime called Silver Spoon that explores this in what I thought was an interesting and respectful way. The story is a bit of a fish out of water tale of a city kid having a bit of an teen life crisis deciding to enroll into a farm vocation school out in the countryside of Japan. It's made by the creator of Full Metal Alchemist to give it some pedigree, Though it couldn't be farther from that show, if you're familiar with it. I wouldn't because I don't have the equipment. Unless we get the equipment in this scenario in which I am literally going to kill any farm or game animal that just so happens to be brought in. I have done it, and it's sand BD. It is surprisingly easy to decapitate a chicken with your bare hands. However, I think if we want to switch to a more efficient source of animal protein we would eat insect larvae, which brings on a different set of psychological challenges in the developed world. Many people recognize chordates as something more like us, and therefore have to reconcile ourselves to killing something that is much like ourselves. This question comes up a lot less frequently with animals without a spine. Whether it's clams or ants I have noticed people have much less qualms about killing something that they see as so deeply other. Several years ago I decided I needed to be able to take life to continue eating meat. I don't like it, but I can. And I'm looking into raising meat chickens and pigs once we are living on our new acreage. Yes, I hunt and fish in my free time, when in season, and clean, butcher, what I keep to eat. I believe it should be encouraged for anyone who eats meat, to experience every step of the process they benefit from. When I have children I will expose them, responsibly, to cleaning, quartering, and overall preparing meat to eat as soon as they start hunting, fishing. I just feel our society's disconnect from the entire process of acquiring meat denies the slaughtered animal the respect and appreciation it deserves. Every hamburger, chicken finger, was taken from a living breathing entity. It honestly bugs me that this experience and knowledge isn't required. My answer, depends. My wife's answer, yes, no problem. She spent a lot of time at farms. For me, if I knew it was my only option, yes, 
I could do it, I'd probably be far more conservative with the meat eating than I am given current options. I mean, I can go out and eat 30-40 chicken wings in a single sitting, because they're available, the deed is already done. If I had to go outside and slaughter 15-20 chickens just to make that meal. Nope, wouldn't do it, I'd say a prayer, kill one chicken, and make it last as many meals as possible. Yes, it's a good question that I think everyone should be asked in their life. People used to be much more connected to their food, whatever it was. Understanding and taking personal responsibility for meat consumption can only be a good thing, both for the individual and the planet. On that vein, if you live in the US, you should know that deer and elk are excellent and delicious sources of lean protein, and if you hunt them near where you live, they have little to none of the associated carbon footprint that beef has. Hunting is good for the environment and for you. I murder rabbit for making satay with rabbit meat. I made its tail as talisman and their foot as a charm, and their ear too. Their skin is so soft though you can just grab their skin from their body without any tools. I kill about to make it as soup. I decapitated king cobra for their meat and their skin I use it for Vok charm. When you try to butch a snake you have to be careful with their head, since it still can bite you and they still can move just to bite. Could I? Yes. Would it cut down the variety of stuff I eat? Absolutely. Not for any moral reason I just would rather shoot a single bison than eat it for months than kill a bunch of chickens every few weeks. If I'm personally having to kill and dress everything I eat if you get what I mean, it's just more practical to kill one big thing than a variety of smaller things if you have to do it all yourself. I have grown up lived and worked on farms for a lot of my life. I've learned how to hunt, skin and gut rabbits. I have been in assistance whilst slaughtering and butchering deer, cattle and lambs that we raised ourselves. I much prefer to eat the animals I have raised because I know that they had a good life. I know what they had eaten and I know that they were in good condition. It seems like a sick idea to some people. But knowing that the animal I raised isn't going to waste is somewhat comforting for me. The skin is used, the organs are used, the bones are used to. Nothing is wasted. I'll act the skill and talent to properly butcher an animal. So number, I've tried with fish, turned what should have been nice fillets into essentially fish nuggets. Some things I'm happy to pay other people to do. I think a lot about this, and, to be really honest, yes, I used to watch a lot of cow, pigs, chicken, etc. slaughtering videos and, even thought is heavy and sad. I think it's healthy to understand where these things come from. Also, I watch a lot of safari footage and, compared to how we kill animals, I know it depends, blah blah, nature is a bitch. I wasn't raised in a farm or anything but I really think about this and often conclude that we just feel like we aren't a part of nature but we just can't separate ourselves from it. I'd love to discuss this more and my thoughts are more complex, but time is small to write them down. LOL there is an excellent anime called Silver Spoon that explores this in what I thought was an interesting and respectful way. The story is a bit of a fish out of water tale of a city kid having a bit of an teen life crisis deciding to enroll into a farm vocation school out in the countryside of Japan. It's made by the creator of Full Metal Alchemist to give it some pedigree, though it couldn't be farther from that show, if you're familiar with it. I wouldn't because I don't have the equipment. Unless we get the equipment in this scenario in which I am literally going to kill any farm or game animal that just so happens to be brought in. I have done it, and it's sand BD. It is surprisingly easy to decapitate a chicken with your bare hands. However, I think if we want to switch to a more efficient source of animal protein we would de-insect larvae, 
which brings on a different set of psychological challenges in the developed world. Many people recognize core dates as something more like us, and therefore have to reconcile ourselves to killing something that is much like ourselves. This question comes up a lot less frequently with animals without a spine. Whether it's clams or ants I have noticed people have much less qualms about killing something that they see as so deeply other. Several years ago I decided I needed to be able to take life to continue eating meat. I don't like it, but I can, and I'm looking into raising meat chickens and pigs once we are living on our new acreage. Yes, I hunt and fish in my free time, when in season, and clean, butcher, what I keep to eat. I believe it should be encouraged for anyone who eats meat to experience every step of the process they benefit from. When I have children I will expose them, responsibly, to cleaning, quartering, and overall preparing meat to eat as soon as they start hunting, fishing. I just feel our society's disconnect from the entire process of acquiring meat denies the slaughtered animal the respect and appreciation it deserves. Every hamburger, chicken finger, was taken from a living breathing entity. It honestly bugs me that this experience and knowledge isn't required. My answer, depends. My wife's answer, yes, no problem. She spent a lot of time at farms. For me, if I knew it was my only option, yes, I could do it. I'd probably be far more conservative with the meat eating than I am given current options. I mean, I can go out and eat 30-40 chicken wings in a single sitting, because they're available. The deed is already done. If I had to go outside and slaughter 15-20 chickens just to make that meal. Nope, wouldn't do it. I'd say a prayer, kill one chicken, and make it last as many meals as possible. This is an argument that tends to ignore culture. I can't speak for the entirety of nations. But what I would say is that meat is ingrained in culture. For example I have an Italian background. In the UK I would say people's relationship with meat isn't as special. That is my opinion anyway. Let's look at prosciutto di parma. It is a legally protected product and is called such based on the region it is produced in. Just like champagne, it is a quality produced piece of meat that is loved and respected. In regards to the question would you kill the animal? Yes. Do I hunt? Dot. Number. Do I love animals? Yes. So why? Because when people were hungry in villages and created such meat, it was expensive and it was a delicacy. The meat even until this day goes through a delicate process of curing and producing quality animals. Tradition gives us a moral compass in this case, through the craftsmanship and creating jobs, to seeing someone try a delicious piece of food and seeing happy people around the table creating memories that will last forever at the cost of an animal's life is simply reality. We do not have to slaughter masses of animals who have had terrible lives. I know if the animal has had a good life and use as much of the animal as possible. You can do nothing but respect the process. Of course you do not have to kill the animal. Of course I would be upset to see an animal die. As long as there is no cruelty or waste, I believe this is a natural part of life. A bittersweet reality. No because I love animals. I get the impression that vegan evangelists think everyone is unaware about the cognitive dissonance that allows me to pretend my steak isn't a cute little cow. I'm fully aware that I'm imagining steak as something other than a carcass. And I'm thankful for the factories and farms that allow me to maintain that illusion. I'm a hunter. The animal does not see a butcher and I see the process through from bullet to dinner plate. Is a humbling, fun, labor intensive, educational process. Dot, dot, dot. After the animal has expired it takes me 7 hours total to skin, gut, debone, clean the meat and pack it to where you could hypothetically purchase it from a store. Clothes wearers of Reddit. Would you be able to make your own clothes? If not, why? Smells like some vegan propaganda is coming. But for the record, 
I don't need to kill animals much like how a farmer doesn't need to make their own clothes. We have people for that. I mean to say, are vegans getting up at the crack of dawn to milk those almonds? Are they going out to hunt the wild hummus? No, they're too busy preaching their rubbish diet. I was raised in the bush. I remember the first time in a grocery store being upset that meat came packaged, that eggs were already picked, and none of the chicken had to be plucked. I remember the time my friend called when she wanted to put down her chicken but couldn't do she asked me to help. My kids and I showed up. I went to the garage. I came back with the headless chicken moments later and everyone was speechless. No one ate the chicken that night but me. Anyways long story short. She just wanted her pet chicken down from the rafters in the garage. Yes, I fish and would also hunt if my country hadn't made it borderline impossible to acquire a gun, hunting license, and vegans would definitely appreciate some meat when they're close to starving. The only reason you are picky about food is because you just have go to the supermarket and grab yourself some quinoa and imported food from all around the globe lol. Slaughter yes, process, sort of, I eat a lot of pork, beef, and chicken. I could absolutely slaughter those animals and have in the past, and I could process chickens by myself. I cannot process anything bigger than about 200 pounds by myself. The logistics of dealing with a 200 pound plus field dressed carcass are tricky alone. I could absolutely process larger animals with assistance of a second or third person. If we are talking a survival situation I could do well enough. Outside of that I wouldn't want to do it alone. No and this is a silly question. The reason no is because I don't have to, that's someone else's problem. Just how I don't go climbing up the power line pole when I need it to get fixed. Someone else with the tools and knowledge gets paid to do so. I ain't got the time to slaughter the food I need to eat myself and asking this question is ridiculous. Like as a vegan or vegetarian. Are you growing your own plants? Have you tried to do so? Shit isn't easy and your returns are small if you are new to it. On top of that you need the space to do so. Not everyone lives on a farm. First of all, vegan apologist agenda post, most double pleasure goodful. Second, I wouldn't do it because I don't know how and would rather not poison myself by eating the unclean intestine of some animal. But if I had time, I'd learn to do it properly, and would feel fine with doing it, provided I had time. Also, one time, I ate a horse, and I also ate whale. At a retreat I went to there was a farm to table workshop where you had an opportunity to slaughter, clean, and cook a quail. I told myself if I couldn't go through with it, I would stop eating meat. It was surprisingly easy and made me feel more connected to my food. So yeah, absolutely I know I can. Yes, and I do. I grew up in the city. I got a girlfriend whose family slaughters their animals themselves. I joined the family tradition, learned how to kill, skin and gut the animals. There's nothing to it and it's not life scarring. We give animals a decent life without a worry in the world, and end their lives in the quickest or in most human way possible, stab them in the belly and shove a grenade in there. It's a good question. In my 20s I grew increasingly uncomfortable at the thought that I was eating meat but in such a removed and impersonal way. I went hunting for rabbit with a friend of mine who lived on a ranch, killed a rabbit dressed it, cooked it in a good recipe. It was a good meal, and since then over 20 years ago, I have felt like I had settled this mortal conflict. Then gradually over the last 5 years I started to feel that same way again. Not around whether I was being disingenuous by eating meat I didn't kill, but around not making efforts to change my diet for environmental reasons. Only about a year ago did I start seeing enough readily available, affordable, good meat alternatives at my local grocery store, and I'm just starting to feel again, like after I ate that rabbit, that it's okay when a few times a week we buy meat, 
because I feel my other meals, with surge Mexican vegetables based meat for tacos, with beyond Italian sausages for casseroles, with grilled tofu for wraps, etc., make up for it at least in part. Yes, as often as I can, I do as well. It helps that the family has several farmers in it so we can get beef and pork and chicken direct from the source, though it would be impractical to get fresh meat every time I need it so we just get a cow, pig, and a handful of chickens every six months or so and freeze it all in vacuum sealed bags. Of course we also get deer and such as well and the fallen pheasants whenever it's legal as we also own a bird farm for hunting parties. I would imagine we're not the norm for this question, but we're far from unusual. Most of the meat is got to butcher to get processed, but we're perfectly capable of doing it ourselves. It's just impractical to take apart an entire cow or pig on your own. Chickens we do as well as the deer since we do them as we get them. Make a lot of deer sausage and steak each year. If we didn't, they'd spend all spring and summer eating the crops which wouldn't do us any good. It's a balancing act. If we didn't take out the animals we'd wind up with too many on the land to support them and they'd die anyway. Same goes for cows, pigs, goats chickens, pheasants, and so on. It's part of proper land management. Nothing like a factory farm though. And we don't own dairy cows so we do still have to buy cow's milk if we want that instead of goat's milk.